Welcome to the 2022 Golden Lock Award Ceremony presented by RoomEscapeArtist.com. We are Lisa and David Spira, the co-founders of Room Escape Artist. We established Room Escape Artist in 2014 and we've been covering this industry ever since. At this point, we have over 2,350 pieces. These include escape room reviews, industry studies, player tips, and design guidance, and so much more. We also do a lot of other things, like run escape room tours. We have a sold out tour to New Mexico in June. We are running the Reality Escape Convention, Recon, in Boston this year. It's happening in real life, finally. You'll learn more about that later on. We also do things like design escape games for television and private events and occasionally some things that we can't tell you about. Since 2014, we've played almost a thousand escape games. We've played in 13 countries, 33 US states and DC, and many of our writers have played in countries and states we've never been to. Every year, the Golden Lock Awards have been our opportunity to share our favorite games of the year with the community. We have long said that we don't subscribe to the notion of best in much of anything, but we do love to take the opportunity to highlight our favorites. And this year, we have many members of our team sharing theirs as well. A lot of people contribute to Room Escape Artist and our crazy projects in so many different ways. And today, you're going to have a chance to meet some of those wonderful people. Before we announce the awards, we're going to tell you the rules. We established no arbitrary minimum or maximum number of games that could win the award in a given year. Also, a company can only win once per year per category, and you'll see that we have four categories coming up. A Room Escape Artist reviewer had to play the game between January 1st, 2021 and March 31st, 2022 for the game to be eligible to win an award. Now, to be eligible in the virtual category, games had to be playable from home without any shipped components. To be eligible in the real life category, the reviewer had to visit the venue in person to play the game. Without further ado, let's get things started and start giving out 2022 Golden Lock Awards. Our first category are virtual escape games. Since January of 2021, we have reviewed 151 virtual escape games and we are going to give out seven awards. The next recipient of the Golden Lock Award goes to Headlock Escape Games located in the UK for their brilliant game, The Keeper and the Fungus Among Us. This was an escape room rock opera, but with puppets. The puzzles were brilliant, the puppets were clever, and the music was fantastic. Few virtual escape games have managed to do more with the format or for the format, and I had an absolute blast playing this. Congratulations on your Golden Lock Award. The next Golden Lock recipient is Isolation from Escape Room Melbourne in Melbourne, Australia. Isolation has plenty of puzzles, but what makes it stand out is its commitment to immersion and narrative. Even the initial onboarding is done in a way that fits the story. The narrative is deeper and more successful at stirring complex emotions than most other remote games even attempt. This next Golden Lock Award goes to Escape from the Science Lab of Shifting Rules by Scrap in Japan. This is a game that used the limitations imposed by the remote format to create delightful and magical moments that would be impossible in person while keeping a tight focus on puzzles. The next Golden Lock Award goes to Escape from Escape Island by Trapped Puzzle Rooms in Minnesota. The name gives you a tiny glimmer of the kind of slapstick yet deeply funny moments that the game is built to produce. Players who've tried other audio-based live escapes will marvel at how it pulls off a seemingly impossible feat of gameplay. I've loved the improv-based play in all of the trapped audio games, but Escape from Escape Island takes us to a whole new level. 
Our next Golden Lock recipient is The Traveler's Guide to Little Soderberg by Meridian Adventure Company in Portland, Oregon. The Traveler's Guide to Little Soderberg was absolutely delightful. Building on hilarious writing and plentiful internet culture references, the game used its online format to full advantage. The next award goes to Hallow's Hill from Wolf Escape Games. With excellent atmospheric graphics and an audio score composed specifically for the game, Hallow's Hill feels like a playable movie. Narrative moments, many of which are built into the puzzle solves, convey a solid story without obstructing the gameplay flow. Inscription by Daniel Mullins Games, published by Devolver Digital. Inscription is much more than initially meets the eye. Escape room-esque puzzles and clues to an overarching ARG combined in an ever-changing environment. There are seemingly infinite secrets to explore and unsolved mysteries, melding both fantastical gameplay and intriguing storytelling. One of the things that's changed since we last did the Golden Lock Awards is that we now have a podcast, The Reality Escape Pod, that I co-host with PG Law. PG and I have been exploring immersive gaming with creators from all around the world, having wonderful conversations with so many brilliant creators, many of whom are winning awards today or have won this award in the past. We have so much fun producing this show and put so much love and energy into producing it, editing it, coming up with great questions. If you haven't had a chance to listen to it, please check it out. See what you think. If you have half as much fun listening as we do making it, I think you'll have a pretty good time. You can learn more at realityescapepod.com. The next category that we'll be awarding are tabletop escape games. We reviewed 55 tabletop escape games since January of 2021, and we're going to be giving out five awards. The next recipient of the Golden Lock Award goes to CU Adventures in Time and Space, located in Champaign-Urbana, Illinois, for their amazing game, Solve Our Shirts. The creativity and care that went into Escape from the Maze of the Minotaur produced the most thrilling version of an escape room in a box imaginable. It's at the top of my list for an at-home escape game in any format. Plus, you get a cool shirt as a souvenir afterwards. I could not believe how many magical moments they managed to pack into a t-shirt. Congratulations on your Golden Lock Award. The next recipient of the Golden Lock Award is Cantaloupe by Lookout Games. Cantaloupe distilled the essence of classic point and click adventures into book form, transforming nostalgia into something surprisingly fresh. Its stories, scenarios, and humor do justice to the genre, walking in the footsteps of Space Quest and Monkey Island. Our next Golden Lock Award goes to The Light in the Mist by Post Curious. Elegance and beauty sum up the light in the mist. Held within this tarot deck was a magical journey told through puzzles, prose, and magnificent illustration. We played an early copy of this, and I cannot wait for its backers to get to enjoy their copies when they ship. Congratulations on your Golden Lock Award. Our next Golden Lock recipient is the Vandermist Dossier from Diorama. The Vandermist Dossier hides an impressively layered and elaborate story in a set of fairly unassuming documents. The puzzling was polished and full of narrative ahas. The Initiative by Unexpected Games. With equally strong strategy, story, and code-breaking elements, The Initiative is everything a puzzle fan could ask for in a board game. Its engaging co-op gameplay is full of mystery and just the right amount of challenge. The plentiful bonus content only makes it more endearing. I can't wait to get back and start playing again. Gives me great pleasure to introduce the next category, Legacy Tabletop Escape Games. Since we have just created the tabletop category, we decided that it was only fair for us to take a look backwards and honor some of the tabletop escape games from the past that really shaped the way that this medium has moved forward and the way that we think about playing them. I cannot tell you how many tabletop escape games we've played since we started playing tabletop escape games, but it is a very large number. And so in this category, we're going to give seven awards. 
The next Golden Lock Award goes to Escape Room in a Box, The Werewolf Experiment, created by the Wild Optimists and published by Mattel. Escape Room in a Box, The Werewolf Experiment introduced us and our community to the concept of tabletop escape rooms. When we played the pre-production prototype, we never believed that we would enjoy a tabletop escape game. And in less than an hour, it thawed our hearts and won us over. The Wild Optimists helped grow our world in so many different ways. Congratulations on your long overdue Golden Lock Award. The next Golden Lock Award goes to Escape the Room, Mystery at Stargazer's Manor by Blue Matter Games and published by ThinkFun. ThinkFun's Stargazer's Manor was the first tabletop escape game to reach store shelves, and it's remarkable how much this game accomplished as a first of its kind. From locked envelopes to a solution wheel, Stargazer's Manor set the standard for what mass market puzzle games should be, and few have hit its standard all these years later. Congratulations on your Golden Lock Award. The next Golden Lock Award goes to The Root of All Evil from Crack a Nut Mysteries. Strange and bold, Root of All Evil focused less on puzzles and more on storytelling. The more we explored the beautiful and strange items in this crate, the more haunting it became, culminating in a climax that has stuck with me in ways that I never imagined a tabletop escape game ever could. Congratulations on your Golden Lock Award. The next Golden Lock Award goes to The Emerald Flame by Post Curious. This is the second Golden Lock Award of the evening for Post Curious. From its art direction to its gameplay, The Emerald Flame has been in a league of its own. Post Curious created the tabletop escape game community's first masterpiece, and it is finally arriving in people's mailboxes this month. I hope everyone enjoys it as much as we did. Congratulations on your second Golden Lock Award. The next award goes to Hink's Gazette by Bluefish Games. Bluefish nailed the subscription style by combining humorous writing with surprising puzzle play. They succeeded at delivering inexpensive production that didn't feel cheap and provided quality content repeatedly over time. And when the product has run its course, they stopped. Congratulations on your Golden Lock Award. Witchery Spell stands out from the crowd of play at home escape games by combining story, puzzles, and design into a polished, cohesive world. Dark Park Games managed to conjure a self-contained experience that's magical from start to finish and makes you feel like part of the story. Our next Golden Lock recipient is Box One from Theory 11 and Neil Patrick Harris. An aura of magic is instilled into every twist and turn of Box One. The reveals and misdirection will have you guessing what's next until the captivating narrative reaches its satisfying conclusion. The care and craft put into Box One makes it nothing less than prestigious. It gives me great pleasure to tell you that we are finally hosting Recon Boston in real life, August 21st and 22nd of this year. This event has taken so much time, energy, thought from our brilliant team, and I cannot be more proud of what we have come up with. Recon is blending play with learning, with socializing. We have so many games in the schedule. We're busing people to Bodeborg. We're busing them to level 99. We're sending people off to play escape rooms in Boston as part of their ticket to the event. We're bringing games into the convention hall. That's before we get into things like all of the socializing opportunities, as well as the phenomenal talks that we are working so hard to craft with our brilliant speakers. There's so much going on and capacity is limited. Tickets are selling and you should get yours now. In fact, if you get your ticket now, you can still take advantage of the early bird discount, which gets you $100 off your ticket. 
This is only available until May 10th, so if you're on the fence, now is the time to get your ticket to Recon. And when you get to Recon, you'll be able to meet many of the wonderful folks who are winning awards tonight and the people who are giving out the awards. It's going to be a great community event, and I cannot wait to see you there. Whether you are an enthusiast or a creator or somewhere in the middle, if you love escape rooms, if you like to think about how they're done at the highest levels or aspire towards it, or already do it, you're the kind of person that we would love to see at Recon. We hope that you are able to attend. And this brings us to the final category of the night, real life escape games. The thing that brought us into this whole world and that we love so dearly. In this category, since January 1st of 2021, we've reviewed 135 escape games. And we're going to be giving out 25 awards. We really took the opportunity this year, when we could finally travel again, to explore new places, to visit regions we hadn't been to before, and to seek out some of these really great games that we hadn't yet played, us and our team. And so I'm really, really excited to tell you about tonight's winners. For those of you who are international, hope you'll forgive us. Things kind of got in the way of our international travel, so all of our winners are in North America. However, those in the United States will notice that we have covered a lot of territory that we previously had not visited, and I think we're going to tell you about some games you might not have heard of before that are fantastic. Magic Lamp by Gnome and Raven in Richmond, Virginia. Magic Lamp took us into the ornate dwellings of a genie, where we were filled with childlike wonder visiting a fairy tale esque far off land. If we had an extra wish, it would be to re experience this sort of untethered escape experience from the mundane. The Inventor's Paradox by Enter the Imaginarium in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The world of Enter the Imaginarium is captivating. In The Inventor's Paradox, incredible transitions linked unlike scenes, with each creating a new sense of urgency, energy, and wonder. The next recipient of the Golden Lock Award is Wong's Chinese at the Perfect Escape in Arlington, Texas. Wong's Chinese made restaurant touring into an adventure. The creators transformed their family's experience operating a real Chinese food restaurant into an extensive sequence of immersive, goal-based puzzles within an authentic set, balancing realism with whimsy and delight. Our next Golden Lock recipient is Ghost Patrol from Trivium Games, located in Emeryville, California. Ghost Patrol told a heartwarming story through brilliantly designed puzzles, a beautifully constructed set, and well-timed audiovisual effects. We especially loved a tangible meta puzzle that perfectly translated the essence of a puzzle hunt into an escape room. Our next Golden Lock recipient is Frostbase Zeta from Rabbit Hole Recreation Services located in Louisville, Colorado. Frostbase Zeta was a chilling journey to a magical cavern and an Arctic research base, constructed in a satisfyingly sturdy style and filled with tactile, diegetic puzzles. The next Golden Lock Award goes to the Salutum Medicina Institute from Immersia in Boisbriand, Quebec, Canada. Cinematic, magical, and surprising, the Salutum Medicina Institute was physically small and did some very big things, using space and technology to build tension and pull us into that tension, making us question our actions and motives. Congratulations on your Golden Lock Award. The next Golden Lock Award goes to Train Robbery by Cyber Raccoon in Falls Church, Virginia. With so much happening beneath the surface, the train robbery surprised us in more than a few ways, and the nuance in its design filled us with joy. This one is a masterpiece. Congratulations on your Golden Lock Award. The next Golden Lock Award goes to 8-Bit from Escape Room Herndon in Herndon, Virginia. This is a mega dose of 80s gamer nostalgia with details that felt impossibly on point. We've played a lot of 80s pastiche escape games, but this one honestly felt like my 80s experience. I treasured the 
experience of playing 8-bit. And I want to apologize to Escape Room Herndon. I said in that review that I didn't see this game topping lots of people's lists, but it ended up ranking 140 in the 2021 Terpica and ranked 26th among US games last year. So I was wrong and I'm glad that I was. Congratulations on your Golden Lock Award. Our next Golden Lock recipient is The Attraction from Palace Games located in San Francisco, California. In The Attraction, Palace Games combined mind-boggling mechanical engineering and a thought-provoking meta-message into a touching homage to immersive gaming. Going into The Attraction, the less you know about the experience, the better. Our next Golden Lock recipient is Raincore from Escapearium, located in Montreal, Quebec. The sheer expanse of an utterly massive post-apocalyptic set, combined with the most lovable sidekick imaginable, made Raincore unforgettable. Our next Golden Lock recipient is Undercooked from Amescape Sunnyvale, located in Sunnyvale, California. Undercook served up a smorgasbord of culinary-themed puzzles in a whimsically detailed restaurant kitchen. With a thoughtful approach to non-linear gameplay and numerous delightful moments, we enjoyed every last bite. Pandora's Box by Trapped Escape Room Las Vegas, Nevada. Pandora's Box was marvelously inventive, creating chaos with concepts that left us wondering, why have we never seen this before? The elegance of the game felt effortless, which only serves to show how much thought and craft went into it. The next Golden Lock Award goes to Rattlesnake Bend from Bust Out Escape Room in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Blurring the line between realism and cartoon, Rattlesnake Bend brought a Wild West town to life captivating us with a strong opening sequence and a number of novel layered puzzles. And I'm so excited to bring a group to New Mexico to play this game. Congratulations on your Golden Lock Award. The next Golden Lock Award goes to Super Secret from New Mexico Escape Room in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Super Secret did justice to the superhero story, cleverly casting us in a role and an environment that worked as an escape game. From the local setting to the humorous story and campy interactions, we loved being sidekicks to Captain Secret. Congratulations on your Golden Lock Award. Our next Golden Lock recipient is Time Machine by Not Another Escape Room located in Brea, California. Time Machine stood out not for an expensive set, but rather for its scrappy ingenuity. We were transported through a dizzying kaleidoscope of worlds as Not Another Escape Room sneakily pulled off a magical effect more times than should have been possible. Our next Golden Lock recipient is Return of the Pharaohs from Paragon Escape Games, located in Mesa, Arizona. In the Arizona desert, there exists a unique Egyptian tomb. Return of the Pharaohs broke from tradition to bring us an adventure that was as gorgeous as it is engaging. The next Golden Lock Award goes to The Last Supper from Quest Tavern Escape Room in Pomona, California. This actor-driven Dungeons and Dragons meets escape room experience set our group of adventurers on a quest to outwit a malevolent lord over dinner. And the experience was delicious. You get what you give at The Last Supper. Congratulations on your Golden Lock Award. The next Golden Lock Award goes to Hope End by the Ministry of Peculiarities in Azusa, California. The Ministry of Peculiarities beautifully blended escape rooms with immersive theater in a dark, quirky, and thoughtfully crafted experience that started when we entered their front door and continued until we exited it. Congratulations on your Golden Lock Award. Our next Golden Lock recipient is Muggy and Monster from the Nemesis Club, located in Phoenix, Arizona. The Nemesis Club sent us on an adventure to capture proof of an Arizona Bigfoot, but in the end, that monster captured our hearts. The deliberately rustic setting, dramatic moments, and practical effects pulled us deep 
into the Muggian Monsters Forest. The next recipient of the Golden Lock Award is the Area 51 Adventure at the Secret Chambers location in Arlington, Texas. The Area 51 Adventure stands out for its challenging collaboration, communication, and dexterity puzzles, all embedded among a stunning set, bountiful sci-fi Easter eggs, and story surprises. These elements gelled into an uncommonly intense yet playful adventure. Invasion by 62 Escape in Greendale, Wisconsin. Invasion put an adorable twist on a neighbor next door story. 62 Escape's Wisconsin location shows a commitment to unexpected reveals and quirky characters, and we especially fell in love with the protagonist of Invasion. Our next Golden Lock recipient is The Lost Expedition from Steel and Escape, located in San Diego, California. The Lost Expedition was a tech-filled adventure into the past. With individual player roles, a unique approach to time management, and a densely layered set, Steel and Escape excelled at creating interesting interactions we'd never seen before in an escape room. Game Night at CU Adventures in Time and Space in Urbana, Illinois. Game Night was able to deliver four vastly different escape experiences and mash them together into a masterpiece single room that took me back to the days of playing Dungeons and Dragons in my college dorm room. Their attention to detail shined through with the infinite nerdy references and larger than life interactions. Our next Golden Lock recipient is Save the City from City 13, located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Save the City was an epic five-hour superhero adventure that was truly greater than the sum of its parts. Combining City 13's four individual hour-long rooms into a single continuous adventure in a warehouse-scale city, tied together by ample bonus puzzle content in the city streets, this was one of the most ambitious escape room projects we've seen anywhere in North America. The final Golden Lock Award of the evening goes to The Nest, created by the Scout Expedition Company in Los Angeles, California. The Nest is a compelling tour through a relatable, heart-wrenching lifetime with inspiring technical and gameplay novelties to guide us along our journey. We've played both mountings of The Nest, the original in 2017 and the most recent that is ending this summer. This game is beautiful and does so much to show that the escape room medium can work in directions that aren't always about excitement or puzzles. We love this game so much and I hope that if you haven't had a chance to play it, you will be able to check it out before it closes. Congratulations on your Golden Lock Award. If you've made it this far, I suspect you really like escape rooms. Maybe you're a fan of our work. If either of those are true and you wanna support us, please consider taking a look at our Patreon. The financial support that we get from our backers is so important to growing and stabilizing and keeping all of the different things that we have happening in the works. So if you love what we're doing, please consider backing us. There's a ton of extra content for people who do and also access to our private Discord channels. And we hope that you'll subscribe on roomescapeartist.com. We publish daily and there's lots more reviews coming out in the next month, couple of months really, that I think you're really going to be excited about. You can follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. And we really hope that you'll take a moment to click like, to retweet, to share with your friends. That really means a lot to us. Please help us grow this community. Spread the word about fantastic escape rooms. That's what this is all about. Can't wait to play a game with you folks.